Hello friends, so now we are starting a new series on organic chemistry spectroscopy. I hope you like this new series. If you like this new series, please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel. So the first question is, write a short note on electromagnetic spectrum. This question can come in exam as a short question or a long question also. So first of all, let's give the definition of electromagnetic radiation. The energy which travels in the form of wave is called as electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiations can propagate without the help of any material or medium. And this is why electromagnetic radiation can travel in vacuum also. The electromagnetic wave consists of an electric component shown in red color and a magnetic component shown in blue color which oscillates in planes perpendicular to each other and also to the direction of propagation. All the electromagnetic radiations they travel with the same velocity in vacuum that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. But these radiations they differ in frequency and the wavelength. The distance between two successive crests or troughs is called the wavelength and it is denoted by lambda. Similarly, frequency nu is the number of complete cycles of wave per second which is represented as hertz. Frequency and the wavelength of radiations are related by the equation nu is equals to c by lambda where c is the velocity of light, nu is the frequency in hertz and lambda is the wavelength in centimeter. Next comes wave number. Wave number is defined as the number of waves per centimeter in vacuum. The wavelength is expressed in different units in different spectral region. For example, 1 micron is 10 to the power minus 4 centimeter. 1 millimicron is equals to 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter. And 1 nanometer is equals to 10 to the power minus 7 centimeter. And 1 angstrom is equals to 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. The relation between wave number and wavelength is nu bar is equals to 1 by lambda. They are reciprocal to each other. There is one more very important component is energy of the radiation which is given by h nu or hc by lambda. The various electromagnetic radiations arranged in the decreasing order of the frequency or increasing order of the wavelength constitute the electromagnetic spectrum. There may be overlapping of the some spectral region also. So the first comes radio waves. Radio waves have very large wavelength of around 2 km to 30 cm and with very low energy of around 10 to the power minus 28 joules. These low energy radiations are used in satellite transmissions, TV, radio and mobile phone communications. A little higher energy is available with microwave. It ranges from 10 to the power minus 25 joules to 10 to the power minus 21 joules with wavelength of 30 centimeter to 0.02 centimeter. The little higher energy when interact with the polar molecule, it imparts vibration in the molecule and due to the high vibrations, molecules like water starts heating up and therefore microwave radiation is used to heat or cook in microwave ovens. When we move even lower wavelength and higher energy, next comes far infrared region. Actually it is low energy infrared. It is named as far because it is far from the visible range. Next comes the actual infrared region which is from 15 micrometer to 2.5 micrometer. This radiation is having enough energy to bring electronic transitions in molecules. That's why this range is used in IR spectroscopy. The part of the infrared radiation close to visible range is called near infrared. This ranges from 2.5 micrometer to 800 nanometer. The complete infrared region is used in IR spectroscopy because different electronic transitions depending upon the bond energy show peaks at different IR bands. Next range starting from 800 nanometer to 400 nanometer is the visible region. This region is called visible because this region is visible to our eyes. Human eye cannot see any other range in electromagnetic radiation. This region consists of seven colors with different wavelength. These are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. 
beyond 400 nanometer violet region extends which is called ultraviolet range it is having little higher energy and it is not good for the eyes and skin therefore doctors suggest not to go out in strong sun because it also contains uv light from 200 nanometer energy further increases and the range becomes far uv radiation far because it is far from the visible range this range is having very high energy which can convert oxygen into ozone this conversion of oxygen into ozone is the reaction happening in stratosphere of our atmosphere if we further go higher in energy beyond 10 to the power minus 17 joules x rays start these rays are having very high energy and can easily pass through human body and many objects therefore they are used in x ray imaging and security scanners and finally the highest energy is with gamma rays which is considered fatal radiation because this high energy radiation can rupture the body cells and cause death of cells so that was all about the electromagnetic radiation if you like this video please click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel